welcome back on the job again let's talk pressure cleaning and exterior cleaning you've seen our recent videos on the pressure cleaning poles and I'll put more video links in relation to the previous videos that were uploaded but I talk about these poles because they are a fantastic bit of kit so carbon composite pole various sizes 24 28 32 and 42 feet so we talk pressure cleaning pressure cleaning obviously using a pressure cleaning pressure washer but whether we're running maximum pressure through these poles or just cutting back on that rpm or that pressure to carry out a rinse so that rinse can be carried out at a flow at a pressure at height with your feet on the ground to be able to speed up the process and carry out that task a bit more easily so today we have a couple of different poles which I'll run you through two of my favorites in relation to the sizing the 24 foot which is the smallest pole 6.8 meter and the big kahuha 42 feet at 12.5 meter so these particular poles we'll see them in action this morning in relation to pressure cleaning you can also carry out flat work so we love Mosmatic so 12 inch surface cleaners in this particular setup and you can see in our previous videos we would take the wheels off that particular surface cleaner or order that particular unit without wheels and we can carry out flat work so whether that's roofs standing on a pitch of a roof and with the pressure pole being able to sweep quite large areas so with the pressure they do hover like a drone so anchored up on a particular system we can cover a large area without moving um, and increase the safety aspect we can also carry out glass flat work so if you're carrying out pure water pressure cleaning massive atriums glass awnings a particular surface cleaner and pressure cleaning lance or one telescopic pole will allow you to do that and that's carried out with pure water in your pressure cleaner and in relation to build up of gunk dirt and whatever else could be on those flat glass panels is a dramatic way of increasing that flat surface clean so we've got the quite a nifty little trailer set up here 5,000 21 litres per minute a cold particular unit but we're not going to run it at max rpm today so we'll probably be running at 2500 to 3000 psi in relation to showing you the use of these poles so you might say 12 and a half meters is quite a large pole and it is absolutely massive but with the adjustable swivel end we'll get the poles to self hover so we'll nullify the weight and in relation to ergonomics and ease of use we'll get a different interpretation and perception in this video and you'll see that later on so we'll get the poles to self hover and in relation to fighting the pole once it's set up uh, you'll see the ease of use very important with the tip the swivel on the end is adjustable so when you become comfortable and if you need to poke that swivel through trees or through steel work to be able to get to a particular area to rinse or pressure clean uh, it's important to guard that swivel and keep that equilibrium intact stay with us we'll fire up the system we'll come back to you So we've got the 42 foot set up here, but we're gonna get run through the 12 and a half meter, uh, the 6.8 meter first. So 6.8 meter is uh, 24 foot in relation to um, reach height. So we often call this a great double story pole. So we'll feed that pressure cleaning hose up the guts. So 6.8 metre, 24 foot. We can put adjustable swivels in the end, which will totally nullify the weight. There is an angular displacement on the end of the quarter drive or quarter threaded lance on the end where we can put that mosmatic surface cleaner on the end. But in relation to 2,500 PSI, uh, 15 degree tip, that pole basically hovers 
if we wanted to fine tune that, the adjustable swivel on the end will allow you to do that. In relation to rigidity of those poles, you can throw them around. They're quite, they're quite rigid and we can get up there and we can do that rinse. Let's not call it a pressure clean. Let's call it a soft rinse. We're back off the building. We're flooding. We're not hitting it with really high pressure. But we're carrying out that rinse, whether it's after that soft wash application, whether you've sprayed all your soaps, SHs and surfactants on the building, we're able to get those off. If there's any stubborn cobwebs or anything of that nature, we can remove those quite easily. So we'll flick over now and give you a look also at the 42 foot, 12 and a half metre. But in the interim, I just wanted to show you the ergonomics and I'll get someone else to fire the pole. So as you can see, the ergonomics of such a pole allows easy use. That's 6.8 metre at 24 foot. Increasing the flow, staying back from the area. A good flow, good rinse. The most important thing with the poles is drive them up and drive them back down. So this is the mother of all mothers. 42 feet. 12.5 metres. Come with us to the end. I just wanted to show you something very important. So the handle we've set up there uh, is pointing straight up in regards to just the way the pole is sitting. So when we pick up the pole um, in relation to having that handle straight up and down, we need to make sure that that end lance is pointing in a direction that it's going to drive the pole up. If the lance was pointing in that direction in relation to the handle pointing straight up, as soon as we fire it the pole's going to shoot one way. So just a bit of a bit of a tip and you'll pick that up pretty pretty quick um, in relation to setting that up. Uh, the swivels that we can put in the end will also nullify the weight even further and we can run you through that and you can also see that on the on the previous videos. But this is straight out the end of the lance in relation to the quarter thread. So as we talked about previously, we can put the 12 inch Mosmatic surface cleaner straight onto the end of that lance and you can see the flat work and glass work in our previous videos where we've carried out that. And I'll put those links in the video as well. 15 degree tip, we'll fire up the machine. So we're only about uh, 2,500 PSI, maybe a little bit more. The most important thing with these poles is to drive them up and then drive them back down. So in relation to that tip, that 15 degree tip, you can see the height and just how big that pole is. So we're standing quite a long way back. This particular warehouse is uh, just over the seven metre mark to that top apex. And if we're carrying out a rinse, we can sit back a metre, metre and a half, and we can rinse that area quite quickly. 
So I do have a little bit of weight in that pole because I don't have that angular displacement in relation to that swivel end on that pole. So I won't let go of that, the trigger gun until the pole is back on the ground. You can see when I turn the handle slightly and watch me here at the end of the pole, I'll turn the handle and you watch the pole the way it drives. Go that way, go back that way. So you can see that there. So you get to learn how to drive it. We'll drive it back down. We won't let go of that until we're on the ground. So I've just put in the adjustable swivel on the end to help nullify the weight in relation to not coming out of the end of that quarter lance. And in relation to reaching this uh, seven meters again, uh, you can see that that's done quite easily. So if you look at my second hand in relation to taking that hand off the pole, we've just got it at a position there now where the pole is driving itself up and it's it's nullifying the weight. So, like anything in life, you become more comfortable with using a particular bit of equipment, and that could be a 65 foot water fed pole. Initially, it's quite daunting, but as you use it more, um, it becomes, I suppose, less daunting, and allows you to, um, to teach others and to be able to carry out those tasks without elevated work platform. Uh, and as I said, once again, not necessarily high pressure, but we're gonna drive that pole back down to the ground before we release the button. So we always drive it up and then we drive it back down. And ideally in relation to a bucket or a sawhorse, I would like something a lot larger than this. Once again, I hope this gives you a really good overview. Uh, thanks for watching. ionicsystems.com.au and bluetongueindustries.com.au. Cheers.